Hey guys, we are playing uh, another TGC Tours Dream Team course today. We are going to be playing Alt. Oh shoot, Altamira Golf and Country Club in Arizona by Crizzy. Crizzy is kind of known in some circles as kind of like a Arctic Fury Junior in some ways, in that he's got a ability to create these amazing environments. Any issues I've had with crazy courses in the past have been more the playability of the course. Um, it's been more the environment is better than the golf. And I think that's, I mean, I think most designers, they either are really good at the golf or really good at the environment. It takes a long time to get to where you're good at both. I think a lot of people, they're really good at the environment and then they're always working on their, um, the playability of the course. And then other people, they're, they're better at the creating the, the holes, but then they're always working on their environment. Um, now having said that, Crazy has definitely improved in the time that I've been here. And I've been told this one's his best one yet, so no pressure. Alright, let's get out here. Definitely has a Scottsdale feel to it. Yeah, he does. Does have the naming down, you're right. Sky Peaks Canada or something it was. Okay. I mean, it so going desert is um probably a bit of a stretch here for Krizzy cuz it doesn't give you as much to work with in some ways. Um It's very difficult to create that wow factor in um, a desert environment than it is in, say, a Swiss environment where you can have mountains everywhere. Not to say this doesn't look great. It's just it's it's I'm I'm glad to see him going with this this style because it might be out of his comfort zone a bit, which I love. Uh, I'm gonna try and take this right at it with the wind. We're, we're not short, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Well, that's worked well. Where's your layup? Okay, so he's put that right where you probably want to lay. Okay. I mean, you got room to lay up. Definitely an interesting green shape. Hmm. I'm still I'm still kinda still kinda deciding here on this course. Oh jeez, did you Celtic? Oops. I like I'm I'm enjoying how the this kind of deserty mountain hill, whatever they call them out there. It's kinda they call it mountains. The way that they're featuring is really well done. All right, Steve, take care, buddy. Yeah, well, because you live in Colorado. I've played some golf in Scottsdale. It's fun. A little different than what I'm used to. Cleaner version of Rich's course. Hmm. I don't remember Rich's course well enough to say. Ooh, 496 uphill 74 feet. No ability to run it on the green. Hmm. Narrow as hell where you want to hit driver. Let's see how it plays.
Oh, that's a hell of an upslope I'm going to be on, too. Okay, so right there, that's something I don't like when the ball rolls backwards on a fairway. I just feel like... I, I feel like this could be toned down a little bit. I think if you got the ball, ro ball rolling backward, you probably made it a bit too severe. Yeah, I mean, it's on my YouTube site. I don't remember it, though, because it was that long ago. Okay, no. Not my favorite thing there. I don't know the... So... Just from a playability point again, you've already got a hole that's 500 yards to the back pin. I appreciate that fact. But it's basically playing 530 and the slope I hit, I hit the fairway yeah it's a par four so because i'm on that up slope that's going to take a couple yards off and then i just don't know that you need this big false front here or big um, ridge here sorry i just don't i think the hole is already long enough and difficult enough as it is i, I just feel like that's a bit much It was either hit three iron and hit it into that or hit three wood into the into the bush rack there. Whatever, Charlie. Ah, uh, good putt. Yeah, I just feel like that might be a bit too extreme. Now I, I had it a bit into the wind, never. I had it a bit into the wind, but it just seemed really unnecessarily long and narrow i would have that hole a bit wider and ability to run it on might have worked a bit better but then if it's that far uphill can you really run it up anyway so maybe it doesn't matter oh hey Damien, what's going on the tree i mean the tree doesn't bother really bother me because i'm gonna hit it over here anyways but It just makes, I don't think you'd ever go right of that tree, would you? That's the only thing is it, it, you'd almost be better off just not having fairway over there. Because I don't know why you would hit it to the right of the tree. Yeah, this is the thing because it's a wet, it's so short, right? I'm not going to worry about angle. When I can stop it right where it lands, angle doesn't matter. And is it a better angle than being here? I'm not so sure. So it just it just feels like it's it's trying to be strategic in area an area where the strategy doesn't matter. Um another five hundred yard hole, okay. Okay, I, so I have the worst wind possible here. <laughs> this wind is awful for what I've got to do. But my ball's going to end up... I'm going to run out of fairway. I don't like on a 500-yard par 4, there's a possibility of hitting it through the fairway into the water. And it's 514 if you go straight this way, right? It's, that's the 514. When you go a bit more here, like I'm gonna have to, it's gonna be it's gonna be that much longer. Hmm. Let's see how it plays. It is downhill. Oh, I, that's just awful. That that that's the um don't bail. That was definitely a don't miss left or right swing. All right.
We'll hit three of it out of the bunker like you do. Ah, I just that ridge there again. I don't. It's not as bad. Hmm. I don't know. I missed the fairway, so I can't complain too too much. But that fairway was super difficult to hit. But I had the worst possible wind, and I'm gonna make birdie because that's what I do. I complain and I make birdies. Oh, that's a good point, Panda. Because it'd be it would be really firm, wouldn't it? So it would be kind of yeah, it would almost be kind of like fair um, a fairway. Yeah, that's true. Well, this hole's not short. Okay, second shot. Okay, so you can hit it here. Leave yourself like a buck 30 in. You can hit it over here and have an awful angle. Or you can hit it over here if you can take it over the bunker and leave yourself a, a better angle. Okay, I understand the thought process here. This gives you straight up the green. This gives you an awful angle, and even though it's a wedge, it's it, this. It's gonna be. Ma it's probably gonna matter here. So I'm gonna try and hit it over here. Interesting using the waste bunker that way. And then we're going up the throat of it. Ah, uh, uh, I might have played that too far right and be okay anyways. Oh. Not in love with that false edge at the back, but that might be a me thing. Actually, mm, it's far enough ba past the hole that it's not... it's not too bad. I mean, if you hit it on there, then you probably deserve to go off the back. Well, we had a, a fairly short par four that we played. Here's one here. I've already driven one par four. What is it to carry the water? Um, driver's too much. Three wood isn't enough. Let's try this. Still too much. Right at that awkward length where ne neither club really works. Which is not a criticism, by the way. Okay. I don't mind a pretty, I think it's a fairly decent sized green. I don't mind it having some serious undulation when it's a 295 yard hole. Yeah, it's a good one. That's a good point, uh, Panda. It's and then which like I haven't played the whole thing yet either, right? So uh, it depends on the kind of sand, Amy. Like if it's if it's that really firm desert um, waste sand, then it's not really your whatever you've got on the like 
cleats, cleats or whatever, we'll dig into it and you won't really go anywhere. I, I'm just, it, this, I, I hate this as, as a defense of a hole. I just, I hate it. Um, a hole of this length, you can't, it, you can't fly it here and just stop it, right? So, so, you, so I just, I'm not a fan of that at all. And it, it, I see it a lot on a lot of different courses. You're, like, yeah, I mean, it worked out. I just, I don't like that. This green, the greens are getting a bit random. But, oh god, that had no chance. But they're not too, too bad. I, mean, I shouldn't have to worry about getting lucky, though, Zach. I should worry, like, Either the either the shot is played to be run is is designed to be played and run up the hill, or it's designed to be flown and stopped. That's neither. You can't throw a you can't hit a four iron up and stop it. Okay, what am I missing? No, we played his course before, dude. All right, I'm. I'm not a fan of absolute statements. I am never, ever, 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 ever going to the right of these trees. There's no need for it for a start, and there's OB over there. Yeah, maybe, but it's, I've seen so many of them, Trail Ducker. That's part of the problem, right? And it's not meant at Crizzy, it's just meant at this strategy as a whole i just don't i don't enjoy it yeah why would you hit it to the right so that you can go over the out of bounds again i'm not sure i understand that okay well it doesn't have to be red oh sh oh um and just because it's the easiest doesn't mean it's the best I, I needed to make sure I ended up short here. I understand. It's, it's a short par five where, again, you've got to hit a really good shot to be able to get near the pin in, in under regulation. I don't mind that. Yeah. I understand that. Aye. Aye. I missed. While we're going, um, for those of you on Twitch, don't forget tonight is Wednesday, or today is Wednesday, which means we're going to be having diamond cutters at um, 7.30 Eastern, Mayday 91283, the Twitterless Hinter, Scob, and Sire. I'm not sure what courses they'll be playing. Um, Mayday's Twitter usually has it on there, not too far before, eh, around now-ish, maybe a little later. Uh, and then at 9 o'clock, Victor and I will be given out for a rip at Dover in the trucks in iRacing. Normally, Victor would be streaming it, but he is um, currently changing his setup around. So I'm going to stream it tonight. So feel free to come hang out and watch us uh, take on the, the old bastards out there in the old bastards racing league. Uh, I'll start streaming at around 9, I guess. And Victor and I will be able to talk to each other. We have a team set, chat, chat set up. Lately, we've been using it to tell each other when we've been wrecked out. <laughs> that hole wasn't too bad. It's just a little on the straightforward side. Don't miss left. A very common um, 
desert kind of hole, though. So I completely understand it. Oh, interesting. We've done the rocks through the bunker there. That's a nice touch. Hang on. There's a tee that's 45 yards. Love it. I think it's Dover, Victor. Yeah. I'm not massively excited about that. Oh, too much D-loft. Oh, we missed the green with a sand wedge. That's poor. I'm just glad we're not at a restrictor plate for once. I've been on too many of those. Although the 87s at Daytona was an absolute riot. Yakshaft, the lift. Yeah, there's the definite desert, like, Scottsdale vibes here. Uh, I think this is really well done for the environment. I think the environment makes a hell of a lot of sense. Um, I, I feel like I've played a course like this before in my trips to Arizona. The, in the Phoenix area. And then... Okay, I don't mind the false front here. There have definitely been, um, anytime we've been able to get to a green and less in regulation, the green has been very much of a repelling green, which is fine. Oh, I thought that was going to come left with the, the lie it was on. Short, anyways, doesn't matter. Four feet? Mm. It's kind of steep, but that's fine. Okay, I guess that's not going in. And then another five plus yard par four. Hmm. The artificial lake totally makes sense on a, on a desert track. This thing's just long, and but then it's not going to play that long because it's downwind and it's downhill. That's the thing. Five, 500 yards, is, it's more of a sticker shock thing than anything. Um, because 500 yards doesn't play that long. A 500-yard par 5 is criminally short. We've got 9-iron in. So the one thing I think is difficult in today's game, and I mean this golf in general, not just PJ Tour 2K21 is trying to figure out a way to create a, a hole that leaves you um, a, a, that's going to be a long iron second shot, which used to be a common thing. It isn't anymore because you have to make the hole so friggin' long. And there's maybe more of a disparity now between long and short hitters. I don't know. I do wish there was more long iron second, more long iron second shot holes. Not just par threes, which is what part of the reason why you see so many 200 plus yard par threes, in my opinion, is the only way to get long iron into somebody's hands when it's not a par five. All right. So if you hit it over here, you got have no angle at all and you're dealing with a rock and probably OB. Eh, not as much as I thought. Over here, you've got an angle, but it's narrow. Uh, it's been going on way longer. Zach, it's been going on the entire time I've been playing the game, which is 35 years. G Shambo was not the issue. It started long ago. Technology is the biggest reason for it. I mean, it's I it's well thought out. It's well designed. Um, it's very clear what you're doing. You could argue that that left side's maybe a touch too narrow, but it's fine. Um, I'd hate to be trying to come over these rocks. 
but the rocks make sense in the desert. So it kind of does really not force, but kind of tempt you to, to take the left side. And if you can pull it off, you're left with uh, you're left with a reasonable shot in. Yeah, see, that's the thing, Zach. And the other thing that technology has done is it's now allowed you to take a gigantic rip at a driver because you don't have a driver that's that big anymore. Um, and so people are training now because you just you would never have taken a swing like that back in the day. Oh, God. This is what happens when I try to talk and swing at the same time. Because if you didn't hit it absolutely in the middle of the club, it went nowhere. And it hurts sometimes. Uh, to answer the question, in case you're watching it on a phone, this is um, Altamira Golf and Country Club, and Krizzy is the designer. I was too busy talking this whole. That sucks. Uh, I get it though. It's a three wood to a wedge and the green is separated by ridges, which I think make more sense here because you're just throwing a wedge into it. I don't know, Zach. We'll find out in about two holes. <laughs> I'm always a big preparer. Mm, that waste bunker, I, mm, yeah, okay. I've heard of that guy. No, you're closer with Dime Bellevue. And there were screws around it, and that's why that that's where the term hitting it on the screws comes from. It was the middle of a persimmon persimmon headed wood. And then we're gonna finish up with another fairly lengthy par four. They haven't played I mean, other than that one that was uphill, they haven't played massively long. Part of that'll be wind, and part of it's just you hit the ball forever. So I don't think that's a massive criticism. Um that the part there was a long par fours. Like, what's the longest club I hit into that other? I mean, I hit three irons short on that one, but of these other ones, what's the longest club I've hit into it? It's not very much. Ah. Oh, yeah. There, I mean, there was nothing. Map Club, there was absolutely nothing better than the sound of, of hitting um, a persimmon wood perfectly. You just couldn't take the rip at it. You can now. Because if you didn't get it right, it went nowhere. Yeah, so that doesn't really count, Zach. I hit a bad drive. If I land on the fairway, it rolls out. Maybe it's a 5-iron. I don't know. It's 7,100 yards. Let's see. It has a good mix of par 3s. There, There is a bit of a... It's really... Well, no, it's not true either. I was going to say, it does feel like it's either a really long par 4 or a really short one, but that's not true. There are some intermediate ones too. I think as far as yardage is concerned, it's fine. Um, I think the environment's really, really well done. Um, it's not that same crazy wow factor, but at the same time, it's a um, it's a desert course, so you're not going to be able to. You're not going to. It's not as easy to create that. And I think the environment he created works beautifully for it. I think it's a really, really, really well done desert environment that he's created. I think you know. It, is it the his most? Is is it best course playability wise? Probably, it probably is. Um, a little bit too much reliance on some red ridges on some greens for my taste, and that's just my taste. But, I mean, the only hole I really have a huge issue with was probably six, being uphill and, uh, uphill and, well, into the wind you can't control, but being uphill and 500 yards, 
it was a bit much, and especially without the ability to run it up at all, and then having a ridge kick you way the hell down. It'd be interesting playing that hole to a shorter to a front pin though. To a front pin, that 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 hole would be a lot easier. Um, so if you were gonna put this on tour, you probably would try to have that hole play downwind to that pin. I don't know. Um, I think overall it's quite good. Um, I just yeah, again, I just the green it's the around the greens where I, I would have had would would be more my kind of critiques would be. I'd love to see a little bit more subtlety in them. Um and just yeah, a little bit more ability to roll the run the ball. I felt like there's just too many times where it was just a ridge where you're gonna just stop. Um but yeah, I think it's my favorite crazy course so far. I I, th I think as far as playing it, yeah. I think for sure. I think every shot made sense. Um, yeah. Good job. Good job, Chrissy. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for the view. Please feel free to hit the like button so that more people can see the great courses these guys create. I will be playing another course. Uh, or sorry, I'll have another playthrough coming up soon. But for now, I'm going to say cheers.